sorry. Enough of that. Enough of that. Uh, hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here again with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today we're going to be going over magnitude. It's a pretty basic uh, math function in uh, Roblox. So let's jump into the studio here and um, see how it works. So here we got um, a couple of parts in the uh, in the workspace. Here we got part one, part two. Nothing, nothing special about them. So let's see uh, what we can do with them. So magnitude if you didn't know is used for finding the distance between two points um, the distance being a straight line drawn between the two points if you're looking at it from a um, grid perspective so um, let's let's go ahead and um, see how this works so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a uh, while loop uh, to run this and so you guys can see it run kinda uh, multiple times here so we're gonna print uh, another parentheses because we need it to be in parentheses okay because we've got to find the difference between the two positions okay so we're going to do workspace dot part one dot position okay and we're going to find the difference between that and workspace dot part two dot position so if you guys aren't very good at math finding the difference just means we're subtracting the two numbers it does not actually matter which uh, order the numbers are in in this formula just um, as long as you're subtracting one from the other then you're gonna be a-okay alright so we're going to type a uh, magnitude okay and there we go there you go that's that's all there is to it that's how you find the distance between two parts let's go ahead and uh, and run this here okay and there you go we got 32 studs between them 12 studs 12 again apparently alright three 92 all right you guys you guys get the point this is updating and this is just finding the distance in a straight line um between the two values okay uh between the two points i mean let me correct myself there i mean um you can use magnitude for other stuff like finding um the total velocity of a um of a uh, moving part but uh Mostly people just use it for finding the um, the uh, the difference the uh, the 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 distance here between two points in the workspace. So let's um if if all you wanted to do was see how to use magnitude um, and what the the layout was, and you can go ahead and just stop watching the video here. But if you want to go more in depth into it, well, I'm going to show you an example of um, how to use it. So we got our boy we got H3 here, and we're going to make him. Um, using magnitude, walk towards a player, and um, we'll, we'll we'll make him attack, and do some damage. Also, let's go ahead and jump into this guy. Um, the only scripts we got running in this guy right now is an animated script, so uh, nothing that's gonna make him move. You know, if we if we run this right now, we can put another another figure in workspace here. So we run this. Um, as you can see, there is a he's not moving at all. All right, so there's gonna be a hundred percent from us. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So let's do you know normal scripts, no local scripts today. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys, you guys got these tiny ass monitors so you guys can see here. All right, so we're gonna do um while wait one do. All right, so every one second we're gonna be checking the workspace for a uh, target. So let's do a uh, function find target should be fine. Um, and then we're gonna do local dist equals uh, 100. All right, and then local target equals nil. And then we're gonna do uh, four IV and pairs workspace get children. So we're gonna be checking the 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 workspace every object in the workspace for a humanoid. Okay, so if that if it finds a humanoid. And a uh, a torso in the workspace, then it's going to um, then it's gonna you know put that on the the list of things it can move towards. Okay, so so for IV and pairs, and then we're gonna do uh, local human equals uh, v find first child humanoid. Okay, so we're gonna be checking for a humanoid in that and v which is going to be one of the objects in workspace. If you haven't seen my my in pairs tutorial, it's pretty in depth, pretty good, so you should probably check it out. All right, let's see. And then we're going to do uh, torso equals v find first child torso. So um just a word of advice to you guys, if you're going to be making this guy attack players or whatever, you should probably use humanoid root part, but since these um 
these figures I'm using don't have humanoid root parts. So if we go in here, uh, there's no humanoid root part. But if a um, actual character loaded into the, the world, let me show you here. If an actual character loaded in, like myself here, if we go to workspace and check my character, um, every character is going to have a, a humanoid root part in their character. So I have a torso right now because I'm using the old style of Roblox um, character. But if you're using the, uh, what is it, the R15 character, then it's not going to have... A, a torso it's gonna have an upper and lower torso so this isn't gonna work so I recommend uh, changing torso in this script to um, humanoid root part if you're gonna actually be using this in your game and you're using the um, the new uh, character model okay so we're gonna do an if statement here we're gonna do if human and torso then okay and then if human dot health greater than zero then okay so we're checking if um, if human isn't nil, so this is going to return nil or um, or it's going to return false if it um doesn't find a humanoid. So if either of these are false, then this isn't going to continue because it's an and here. And then torso is going to do the same thing. It's just checking for torso. And then if the human's uh, not alive, then it's going to ignore it. And then let's do uh, if. Uh, so let's go ahead and define some variables up here. Let's go ahead and define my torso equals script dot parent dot torso and then we do local my humanoid equals script dot parent dot humanoid okay so I'll find so we're gonna do we're gonna find we're gonna use magnitude here now because we got a valid target in the workspace but we need to check if they're close enough okay so if uh, my torso dot position minus torso which is the um, the target's position, right? My torso dot position. Then, oh wait, <laughs> shit. All right, dot magnitude. Magnitude is less than uh, the distance. Then, all right. So there you go. We're we're finding the uh, the difference between the um, the two points in the workspace being the uh, torso position. So you're gonna find the magnitude. And then if the magnitude is less than the distance, then we're going to go ahead and say that, yeah, that's a valid target. We can move towards it. So so that's what we're going to do. So now we're going to go ahead and update the distance here because we want to attack the closest player. So we're going to do dist equals that. Okay. So now if it runs through this loop again, because it's going to be checking every, every object in workspace, it's going to be running through this a bunch of times. So this is going to make the distance smaller. And it's going to find the closest um, target here because each time it goes through, it's going to be setting it lower. So it's going to eventually run through and just find the lowest distance out of all of the targets in workspace, given that there are actually <clears throat> valid targets in the workspace. So now we'll go ahead and do a target equals torso. Okay, so there you go. And we go ahead and return target down here. All right, so, so this is going to run through. It's going to run through this for loop here. You see it ends here. So it's going to run through all this. And it's going to set the target to torso. If it doesn't find anything, then obviously it's going to return nil. So this is going to be a, a return function here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, check. So let's do uh, local uh, enemy equals. Uh, let's do local, local torso. Why not? I think we can do that. Yeah, not using it. All right, local torso equals... Uh, uh, find find target okay so since this function is is got the return here it's just gonna basically uh, return the value into here and then we can go ahead and assign that value to torso so if it returns um, a torso then it's gonna go into this variable if it returns nil this variable is gonna be nil okay so we're gonna do if if torso then so if torso is not false or nil then we're going to continue here so we're gonna do uh, my humanoid move to torso dot position torso torso okay there we go all right so that's gonna make um make us walk to uh no uh it's gonna make us move towards the uh, the torso position given that there's actually a torso position okay so um let's go ahead and we'll do we'll do something else so if there is no torso right we're just gonna make this guy like walk around I don't know randomly so we're gonna do my torso dot position plus 
vector three new math uh, random. So we'll just just make it move within 50, 50 studs of itself. We'll do zero for the y. I don't know. I'm not gonna be making it go up or down. Obviously, the shit's not flying. All right. So yeah, move to that. Uh, move to vector three. All right, looks good. And then we'll just do a workspace dot base as the um, as the actual part there. All right. So what does this got to? Yeah, my bad. With that parentheses there. Okay, so um, every time you're telling uh, you're using the move to, it requires um the actual position you want to move to and the um a part in the workspace, uh, generally the part that you're you're walking towards or walking near. In this case, the base would be the best best for us. So let's go ahead and see um what we got here going on in the um in the game. Let's go ahead and delete this guy's scripts here because I know this shit is broken and I don't want it to cause issues. Alright, so let's see. Okay, alright, Mr. G there, apparently that's, that's good. And let's let's name the script uh follow. There we go. Alright, so uh magnitude, where did I mag magnitude, there we go, alright. My G key's uh going out apparently. Alright, let's see. I typed it multiple times, really. All right. What, what line is this on? 14? Yeah, okay. Yeah, just because I uh, copy and pasted it, huh? All right, let's go ahead and run this. Third time's a charm. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. We're not going to move. Why are we moving? Uh, let's see if let's see if this is working. Let's see print. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of debugging here because um my scripts suck. All right, so it's got a a valid torso multiple times. Okay. Return target. Yeah, that should be working. Let's see print. Moving to all right. Let's try that. It should be working. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe it's the um the animated script in here. It's messing it up. I don't know. That is so strange. Why is this not working? Give it a new humanoid. That is so bizarre. The script is working though. It's just, um, this guy's just not moving for some reason. I mean, I guess we can make our own, our own frickin', uh, guy here. So let's do, uh, torso. Make the top surface. Weld. Let's do, make our own custom monster here. Monster, throw a humanoid in it. Okay, okay, I know what's going on. I just thought, okay, so with the, um, it, it's finding itself there. That's why it's not, uh, why well, it's not moving. Okay, if humanoid and torso and v not script dot parent, man. Oh my god. I am so sorry. Let's see. There we go. Okay, shit. Let's get the uh, let's get the animate script back in there. Let's see, real animated looks good. Paste into. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here now. It should be um 
Yeah, there we go. Now, now we got our walking figure there. All right. See, now it's gonna find the uh, the closest closest uh, object within the two. It's doing its little math formula, and as you can see, it's working very well. All he does is just walk straight into his face. Uh, we can do a little bit more with the um with the uh, follow. We can make it like let's do let's deal some damage too. So. If it's um if it's close enough, we'll do if um my torso dot position dot torso dot position dot magnitude less than I don't know seven then let's see torso or uh, torso uh, parent uh, humanoid take damage 15 all right so it should be dealing some uh, some damage there now um, with this else here let's do weight indent that we'll do um so let's let's save a little bit of um resources here by not running this weight loop so often if there's nothing nearby and we're gonna have the the uh the guy kind of idle a little bit and he can kind of like walk around you know uh, every three seconds instead of every one second well actually it's gonna be every four because it's gonna combine so you can see he just walks to a uh a random position there sits there and as you can see he's slowly kind of just walking around you know at least he's not just standing there doing nothing he's kind of kind of moving a little bit all right so let's get um let's get our our poor dude in here and boom you know there he goes he's taking damage because he's close enough right okay and boom he's dead alright and now H3 is just gonna continue continue walking around so he finds another target so he finds another target there we go alright there you go boy and now he's now he's attacking the monster dealing the damage okay um that's basically all there is to uh, magnitude Thank you guys for watching. This has been a Yellow Mustang tutorial. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Got more better tutorials uh, planned. Try and get some editing software by next week. Hopefully so I don't got to like click the damn record button and then click the music and then click the notepad all quick to try and do some something random like that in the beginning of the video. Um, I got better tutorials planned in the future. More planning is going to go into it. And um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I do have more on the channel. Uh, they're pretty well explained. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. All right.